Assalamualaikum. Hi guys. In this video, we are going to continue for the chemical properties of carboxylic acid. I'm going to separate the reactions of carboxylic acid into two parts. So let's focus with the first parts of this video. The reactions of carboxylic acid have three. The first one is reduction and the second one is where carboxylic acid reacts as acid. So it will donate the proton from OH group. And the last one is the substitution of OH group. There are several reactions that you have to understand how to form the product. We are going to go one by one. Let's start with the reaction with electropositive metals, group 1 and group 2 metals. This is where your carboxylic acid is going to act as acid and it will donate H plus from OH group. So if you realize here, you got carboxyl group, I'm going to donate this hydrogen to become H plus. And then let's say we have too many molecules of carboxylic acid in one container, reacts with sodium metal. So you will form carboxylic salt and this O minus, it will attract an A plus from the metal. And then the hydrogen here, the proton that you release will combine with another proton to form H2 gas. This is where you need to balance the equation. You have to put 1 over 2. Because as I mentioned before, we have the reaction dengan metal, awak kena balance kan organic chemical equation tersebut. And then you can choose either you want to write arrow pointing up ataupun awak boleh tulis dalam bentuk gas in bracket. Seterusnya, kalau saya ada metal daripada group 2 for example we have magnesium so you are going to form the same carboxylic salt but we have charged for metals from group 2 which is mg2 plus so maknanya charge 2 plus here we got 2 so that's why you have to put all the carboxylic salt in bracket dan letak 2 dekat bawah lower subscript and then you need to balance two in front of the carboxylic acid at the reactant side. So this indicate the same amount of carboxylic acid and carboxylic salt. After that, you can also form hydrogen gas. But in this time, you don't have to balance by putting one over two because we got only two hydrogen already. So let's try this example. What I'm going to show you, I'm going to donate this H+. So both of them are going to donate the H plus and react with the metal. So we are going to form carboxylic salt. Just copy it back as it is. And then O minus Na plus. And don't forget you have H2. And this is gas phase. You need to balance 1 over 2 in front of it. Next one, we have magnesium. This magnesium, be careful because we have to put in bracket two for our carboxylic salt so draw your carboxylic salt first so you have O minus put everything in the bracket and then Mg 2 plus and then it has side product which is H2 as well and this one you don't have to balance because you put two in front of this next we go for neutralization reaction in this part acid are going to react with strong or weak base to form salt and water. The same case here, bila kita cakap pasal acid, dia akan donate the H+. Dan selective bases yang kita boleh gunakan adalah NaOH, ammonia, sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate. Untuk sodium carbonate and bicarbonate, awak perlu berhati-hati sebab kita akan hasilkan juga CO2. So the reaction will be the same. Awak akan hasilkan metal carboxylic salt. Cuma untuk ammonia, bila awak react dengan ammonia, dia akan attract NH4+. Untuk yang lain, dia akan attract Na+, sahaja. Except for ammonia sahaja, dia akan attract NH4+. So please be careful. Yang lain, kekal. And then awak akan donate hydrogen awak. Dan hydrogen awak akan bergabung dengan another hydrogen dan oxygen untuk hasilkan water sebagai side product. Untuk sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate, dia ada special case iaitu kita ada CO2 here. So, bila kita ada CO2, kita boleh buat observation di mana kalau saya tested with lime water, the solution will turn cloudy. 
Let's try a few examples here. So in this part, saya punya H akan donate. So dia akan jadi H2O. So apa yang saya akan hasilkan, saya keep it as it is for our my alkyl group CH2, CH3. And then saya attach kepada carbon double bond O, O minus. And then dia akan attract Na plus. Dan jangan lupa awak ada plus H2O and plus CO2. This is gas. So untuk sodium bicarbonate and sodium carbonate kena berhati-hati sebab kita ada extra side product iaitu carbon dioxide. Next one, lihat pula untuk this part. Apa yang awak ada, kita akan donate this proton from this hydrogen. So, I'm going to copy it back as it is. So, saya akan copy je macam biasa structure saya. And then, after that, this part akan jadi O-. And then, dia akan attract Na+. And after that, saya akan tambah dengan H2O. Tetapi, as I mentioned before, this is sodium bicarbonate. So, dia akan hasilkan extra side product CO2. So, I'm going to show by using arrow pointing up. So that you can understand this is gas. Next, untuk ammonia, konsep yang sama cuma berhati-hati untuk ammonia dia akan ambil NH4+. Daripada 3 hidrogen, dia akan jadi 4 hidrogen with plus sign. Dia datang daripada this proton. So I'm going to combine this hydrogen with NH3. Hydrogen kat sini sudah jadi H+. Sebab tu kita akan dapat NH4+. Yang lain kekal. So I'm going to copy the back. O minus NH4+. So you got your product. And last but not least, we have one more. This is NAO. Paling basic kita selalu guna dalam lab. Awak punya konsep masih lagi donate the proton from this OH group. So I will keep it as it is for the other parts. Yang lain kekal sahaja. But for this part, dia akan jadi O minus attract and A plus. Then jangan lupa you got H2O. So this is how you write the equation and form the products for neutralization of carboxylic acid. Seterusnya, kita akan continue dengan another reactions of carboxylic acid iaitu substitution of OH group daripada derivatives. Yang pertama, kita akan form acid chloride. Acid chloride boleh kita prepare daripada reaction carboxylic acid dengan thionyl chloride ataupun PCl5 or PCl3. The main product yang awak akan hasilkan adalah acyl chloride. So this is how acyl chloride form where dia akan substitute sebab tu substitution of OH group dia akan substitute dengan Cl dekat bahagian sini. Sebab tu awak nampak main product dia sama saja iaitu acyl chloride. Yang berbeza adalah side product yang terhasil. So please be careful. Seterusnya Substitution of OH group juga boleh lalu proses formation of acid anhydride. Acid anhydride boleh prepare daripada reaction of carboxylic acid dengan cara kita remove the water melalui heating dan menggunakan phosphorus pentoxide P2O5. Dan bila kita cakap removal of water, maknanya name of reaction for this part adalah dehydration. So this is NOR. And then, once awak remove dia, awak akan gabungkan awak punya structure. So, how does it looks like? Kita ada dua carboxylic acid. Tak kisah sama atau different. Satu carboxylic acid awak pilih untuk buang OH. So, saya let's say saya buang OH daripada sini. Another carboxylic acid saya akan buang H. So, that's why dia akan gabung. Dan awak akan dapat H2O sebagai side product. Pastikan awak tulis P2O5 iaitu phosphorus pentoxide above the arrow and dekat bawah ada heat. Seterusnya, untuk form the same acid anhydride, kita juga boleh hasilkan melalui reaction carboxylic acid reacts with acyl chloride in the presence of pyridine. So, acyl chloride, ingat this is the structure for acyl chloride. Kita ada carboxylic acid. So, apa yang kita akan buat, kita akan remove H dengan Cl. H akan remove daripada carboxylic acid, Cl akan remove daripada acyl chloride. Dia akan bergabung untuk hasilkan HCl sebagai side product dan awak akan dapat same one which is anhydride. 
So alkyl group dekat sini, it doesn't matter whether you get the same or different alkyl groups. So let's try a few examples. So first thing first, you have two carboxyl acid, one and two. So I'm going to remove the water here because we know that this reaction with phosphorus pentoxide, they can remove water. So remove water, let's say saya remove daripada satu carboxyl acid iaitu OH group dan satu lagi saya remove H. So I'm going to combine everything. So draw this part first. So I'm going to copy it back. After that, bahagian sini saya akan gabungkan dengan O dekat sini. So saya dapat saya punya main product which is anhydride. Macam mana saya tahu ini adalah anhydride? Saya ada functional group anhydride here. C double bond O, single bond O, double bond, single bond C double bond O. So COOCO. And then jangan lupa kita ada side product iaitu H2O. So settle for this part. Now kita go for B pula. For B, reaction ini menghasilkan anhydride juga sebab kita ada pyridine. Dan pyridine ini ada juga reagent kita iaitu acid chloride. So, I'm going to remove HCl here. So, perbezaan dia dengan dekat atas ni, dekat atas ni kita remove water iaitu H2O. Dekat sini kita akan remove HCl. So, bila saya remove, I'm going to remove H daripada carboxyl acid dan Cl daripada acid chloride. Selebihnya saya akan gabungkan. So this is my anhydride, my functional group dan saya dapat HCl sebagai side product. So this is how you draw the structure. So I'm going to stop my video here because I want to continue in the next video. So I'm going to see you in the next video for the continuation of this reaction. That's it for now. See you in the next one. Bye.